All right, so step one, let's get this set up here. Step one is to go to Quora and find someone that's asking your question. So in this example, I wanna write a post about analyzing Facebook ads and the takeaway for my reader is to know how to create the perfect Facebook ad from looking at amount analysis. So it's kind of fuzzy right now, I don't have a great hook for it, but let's go to Quora real quick and see if we can figure out what the best way to do it is. Let's just type in the kind of the generic keyword of Facebook ads and let's look for questions that have a lot of answers to them. So we got uh, nine answers, 14 answers, 15 answers, 33 answers. Uh, let's see what else we have. We had 11, 10, 3, 18. Uh, look at answers as the kind of good barometer of the interaction with it. We get a lot of, a lot of 14s, 5 to 15 answers. Um, all right, so let's look through now. We know the most popular one is this one up at the top, 33 answers. Let's see if we can find one. I like this heading here. What is the average click-through rate on Facebook ads? Uh, and we could probably reform that to how do we increase the click through our average click through rate on Facebook ads. Um, we could try that. So maybe we maybe we try that as our first one. Let's jump into buffer real quick. Oops. Click the wrong one. Get out of here. So this is how I would set that up. I would buffer it out to my video fruit account and to my personal account. Oops. Let's see here. Just copy that question. What is the average? Click through rate. Let's start with that. Throw that in there. We're going to choose my video fruit account and my personal account. Uh, let's see. Let's form it to a how to. How do I increase my average click through rate on Facebook ads? All right. So that's going to be one we use. And we're going to copy that and add it to the queue. Let's think of another way to say the same thing. So it's good to spin the title two or three different times to try to figure out uh, different ways because one little title change can be a big difference in your click-through rate. Um, let's see what else we have. Will there be ads in my timeline? What is a good click-through rate? Has anybody run a Facebook ad with a positive result? What, how, how effective are Facebook ads? What is the highest click-through rate? It seems like a lot of the a lot of the most answered questions have to do with click-through rate. Uh, is there a way to get Facebook ad coupon for free? That's not really anything to do with what I'm talking about. Is there a better pay-per-click? Is there a better pay-per-click per impression than Facebook? That's not really it. What is the best resource for learning Facebook ads? Uh, I think we need to hone in on this, this uh, click-through rate trend we're seeing. What are the best tips and guides for users new to Facebook ads? That could potentially be something for us. All right, let's jump back here. Uh, what was that original question again? I got another idea. What is the average click-through rate on Facebook ads? How about this? What Facebook ads have the highest CTR? That could be a good one. Let's buffer that one out. Add the queue. There was something in here about beginners. What are the best resources for learning Facebook ads? I think we could do something with that as well. So let's take, well, let's just go to it. Let's take that title. Throw it in the buffer. Obviously, want to get the URL too. What is the best way to learn to write, uh, to learn to create a Facebook ad? I think we could take that general outline of the post to make it that as well. So we're going to add that to the queue as well. Then we're going to come in here to the queue. I don't want all of these going back to back to back. Um, so we can scatter those a little bit. We can schedule them um, and come in here and uh, switch to a custom time. So I might send that next Tuesday. I might come in here and send this one. Oops, don't want to do that. 
come in here and switch to a custom time and maybe do that next Wednesday. You can see we just scatter these out where they're kind of going out over a period of time on the video fruit account. I have them scheduled out. Um, so we're going to share that one now. We're going to come here and maybe schedule this one for tomorrow. Oops, keep on clicking on that. You got to click on custom time. Well, keep doing the same thing. Switch to custom time. There we go. All right, today's the 13th, so maybe we'll schedule that one for tomorrow. And this one for Monday. And then we'll go back after all those set and look at their analytics and see if any of those had spikes in them. If they do, then we'll write a post surrounding that hook, and if they don't, we'll repurpose them one more time. And if that doesn't do anything, then we might abandon that post completely. So that's a good way to validate whether that blog topic idea is going to work for you or not.